Good evening, Primetime Squad. Hey there, Chastity. How are you doing? Hopefully everybody is enjoying themselves this evening, this Sunday, the day before the new week. <clears throat> I'm just up here sharing this live. Make sure on your way in, you guys, you like the video, share the video to your social media platform. And also, make sure you uh, subscribe if you are not already a subscriber. Please and thank you very kindly. <laughs> But we're going to be talking about catfish tonight. And the reason why I want to talk about catfish tonight is because I saw something really disturbing on an episode of Catfish the other day. And I was sitting around here at the house, my son and I, and I'm like, can you believe these people that be catfished? Um, some of them is just seem so unbelievable. Like you seriously couldn't tell that you were being catfished. Like really, <laughs> like really? I mean, I was like truly disturbed by a scene that I seen the other day. I am doing well. Thank you, Chastity. I had a wonderful day. Matter of fact, let me get my little drink. Cause I'll be getting my Throat be getting dry when I be sitting here talking and talking and talking. Pull my little table next to me. But, um, I'm doing wonderful. I had a great day this morning. Got up. Actually, I was running late this morning to church. Got up, overslept. Um, <laughs> I was like, hmm, should I just stay home? Is it just meant for me to stay home? I'm like, no, it ain't meant for me to stay at home from church. So, anyway, got to church a little bit late. But um, then after that, came home, cooked dinner, which included some salmon and salad. And, whew, it was good. And then we had leftovers from yesterday that some of the kids had spaghetti and uh, chicken. And so, but anyway, then came home, took me a nice long slumber. <laughs> a nice long slumber. What should have been a two hour nap turned into like five hours. I was like, Oh my God, let me get up. Um, I didn't slept through, uh, slept through, uh, what's that show? Housewives of Atlanta which um, I don't normally do reviews on that till the next day anyway to give people time to watch it. But I'll do a review on that tomorrow evening. But yes, I'm doing well. <laughs> Just woke up literally, but I'm doing well. But um, I don't know if you guys watch Catfish. If you do, and you watch, let me see, which season, which episode was that? It, was, it came on just the other day. Uh, let's see. It was season seven, episode 24, and the title of the episode, hold on, matter of fact, I'm going to pull up some pictures real quick. <laughs> y'all, this is going to trip y'all out. For y'all who did not watch it, like, this is going to trip y'all out. And you know, the show, uh... The show, um, it's called Catfish, and the main cast member or the main person on the show, his name is Neve. And so Neve, as most people know, um, a lot of people call him or, or email him or, you know, um, write him a letter explaining to them their issue that they think they are being catfished. And he, you know, they seek him out to help him to help them and to try to hook them up with the person that they seem unable to hook themselves up like personally like face to face uh and he usually you know has a good you know he seems very uh I don't know I haven't watched every single show this is season seven I haven't watched every single show but I watched a lot of the shows um, leading up to now and he gets the job done usually most of the time most of the time but the name of this show 
And it features uh, the person who was catfished. Her, what's her name? Shekinah. Her name is Shekinah. Or no, it's Shakina. Shakina Mateen. She's 31. And I'm going to show you her picture real quick. You said, yay, because I'm just getting off of work and I haven't watched Housewives yet. I was hoping you would. Oh, no. I'm not going to do it. <laughs> Normally, I don't do, uh, if I do a reviews show like on Housewives or Love and Hip Hop or Basketball Wise or any of those um, I usually do it like the next day or a day or two after to give people time to watch. And on top of that, after I watch shows, I got to take my little notes and everything and make sure I got everything right before I come to you guys talking about the show. So yeah, nothing to worry about. <laughs> nothing to worry about. You saw an episode of Catfish one time. It was a man pretending to be a woman. He was talking like a... You know what? I've probably seen that episode, too, because that episode sounds really familiar. Like, it sounds really familiar. Um, trying to see. Okay. The episode was titled Shekinah and Chris. And the co-host for this particular show with Neve was Cammie Crawford. And basically, this lady who was on this show... And mind you, this is a call-in show. Do I got the phone number up? Yep, I got the phone number up. This is a call-in show, so you can feel free to call in if you got anything to say about uh, the show or even if you've been catfished before because I would like to hear your story and I would like to hear who catfished you, how to find out, and how to resolve the relationship. So let me get my little conference call up. Because I definitely uh, want to hear from you guys tonight. This service is provided in high definition by free conference call HD.com. Please enter your access code followed. See if I get my access code. Access code accepted. Okay. You are the only participant. The phone is set up, so if you wanted to call in, you're free to call in tonight if you want to call in. Um, but let me show you a picture of this lady. She claimed for the last three years, the last three years, that she was dating Chris Breezy. Like, see Breezy. Like, Chris ba Brown. Like, run it, run it, Chris Brown. <laughs> I'm like... You got to be kidding me. Hold on, hold on, y'all. Hold on, y'all. Because this... I, child. <laughs> ah, child. Okay. Let me pull up the picture. I'm going to pull up the picture of the girl who thought she was dating Chris Brown. Okay, this is the lady right here. <laughs> Her name is Shakina. Her last name is Mateen or Mateen, M-A-T-E-E-N. She is 31 years old from Arena Valley, California, and she was under the assumption that she has been dating Chris Brown for three long years. This this is Shakina. <laughs> oh Jesus. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Let me put let me leave her little picture up here. I want her picture right here next to my face. That's Shakina. <laughs> Lord Jesus, y'all. When I say, okay, I, when I say, I didn't see, let me make her a little bigger. When I say I didn't see it all, like, seen it all, 
she okay y'all just okay let me let me let me sum this up for y'all real quick let me tell y'all what happened <laughs> yes she should have known better chastity and first of all he's a celebrity first of all he's a celebrity that's number one um you're not a celebrity not not that's not okay let me let me backtrack not that celebrities um don't take interest or don't ever take interest in people who work normal jobs like us, you know, normal jobs, um, who are not celebrities. But I'm like, come on, you got to be kidding me. She was, okay, she claimed, she called Neve and them, hit Neve up, and she was like, Neve, I need you to help me get in contact or meet my boyfriend face to face. And they're like, okay, you know, when they be talking to you, they be interviewing you and everything. And she said, by the way, he's a celebrity. And they was like, oh, oh, okay. He's a celebrity. Which one? She said, Chris Brown. You should have seen the look on these face. <laughs> You should have seen the look on his face. I know he was thinking in his head, like, oh, this is a piece of pie. This is going to be easy. This girl thinks she really dating. You is 31 years old. Child, you is 31 years old. You got teenage kids, and you think you dating Chris Brown? Now, I don't know. I don't know who is dating Chris Brown right now. Um, I have seen somewhere where it said uh, he was recently seen, you know, hanging out somewhere in, uh, where was it, uh, Paris, France, recently, like, what's today, the 27th, um, on the 19th, he was seen in Paris, France, and it said he was with some female named Amika Harris that he's been seeing, you know, on and off for years, and they think that might be you know, his girlfriend, he thinks, people think they might have, be an actual couple now, I don't know, I don't follow Chris like that, but, but, <laughs> you talking to Chris Brown on the phone for three years, and you never meet him, you never FaceTime, you can never FaceTime, which is like, how, I don't know how long you've been watching Catfish, Chastity, but most people have been watching Ch Catfish for a while, and they know the number one rule, the number one rule when you're dating someone that you met online or Instagram or Facebook, anywhere, if y'all never can Skype or they always talking about... um always talking about their front camera you know most phones nowadays got a front and a back camera for selfies and you know things like that if they always talk about their front camera is not working and you can't skype and you could never see them face to face lord have mercy let me see who's on the phone hello Hey, what's up? Hold on one second. Let me put hook you up to the speaker. Okay, let me see. Speaker is on. Okay, hello. Who's this? Child. She thought she was dating Chris Brown for three years. I gotta go look at that episode. That is crazy. You have to watch that episode. I'm telling you, you know, when I watched the episode, that's why I was late for church this morning. Because I was up <laughs> watching, uh, because Catfish, the newest season, is only like on episode, I think, three, the newest season. And I been, I missed a couple of episodes. I was up at like one, two in the morning watching this. This was last night. <laughs> I was like, I gotta. T I ain't never went live on no review about catfish, but that took the cake. And I said, we gotta talk about this. <laughs> Girl, and then like, okay, 
she claimed that she actually talked to Chris Brown every day, but Chris Brown never like offered to fly her to his home or on to any tours or any concerts or you know nothing like that. You date hey, a rich so celebrity for three this years. Been red flags, anyway. Like red flags, and I'm watching the show like. <laughs> Is she is something wrong upstairs? Because even Neve and the uh the lady that was uh helping Neve this episode, you know how he normally have like stars or you know famous people helping them, you know, crack the case. Um, Neve and Cammy, they was like looking at each other like she cannot believe that she's dating Chris Brown. Why? How can you believe that you I was I was done. <laughs> I was done. But when you watch the whole episode and when they got to the part where, you know, they fly out, they meet you at their home, they ask you for a little more evidence. And they said, uh, have you, you, you said you talked to this person. Do you have uh, their voice on a voicemail? She's like, yeah, yeah. He's left me messages before and I had them <laughs> saved on my voicemail. They play, she played her voicemail for them. I swear to God, after the first few words, I'm looking like, and Neem and Cammy is looking like, Cammy said, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry to bust your bubble, but that is not Chris Brown's voice. Like, that is not Chris Brown's voice. Um, Chris Brown has a very distinctive voice. And that voice, it sounded like, before we even knew who it was, I knew it was like a female. It sounded like a female trying to sound like a man. Oh, okay, it was a female the whole time. Let me, let me show you who, the, who, who it was. You, <laughs> <laughs> let me take this picture down. I'm going I'm to move, move her to the side. <laughs> and I'm going to put a... I'm going to put up the other picture of who it was. Wait till y'all see who it was, y'all. Wait till y'all see who it was. <sighs> okay. Let me find the picture. Oh, Lord. Here we go. You see the pic? <laughs> I am so done. I am so done. Okay. Oh my God. <laughs> hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Her name. <laughs> Her name is Johnisha. Johnisha. Her name is Nene. <laughs> Everybody meet Nene, aka Chris Breezy. <laughs> When I say, when I say, okay, now here's the deal. Let me move, let me move her to the side. When I say this, this girl, I was like, this is, this is Chris. <laughs> I'm oh, like, this is Chris. I cannot believe it. I cannot believe it. I was like, no way. When 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 even when she was talking to the girl. On the phone, like you can distinctly tell, this is not Chris Brown that's talking to you. I mean, I would have been like, okay, after three years, what would you have done to make somebody, not even after three years, after three hours, what would you have done to make Chris Brown prove that he was him if you were thinking that you were dating or talking to Chris Brown? Right. I just can't believe it. It was so funny, though. I, pfft. I, I, I'm like, I was at a loss for words. I was like, really at a loss for words. Like, you got to be kidding me. Let me move. Let me, let me get this girl off my screen. Oh, 
Okay, then that's an answer that's true. I'm okay. like. Oh, and you. Tell me where you're from. I am from. Okay, we got her out the way. Ooh, ooh. Lord, have mercy. I am from Omaha. <laughs> Omaha. Omaha, Nebraska. Oh, Nebraska. Mm hmm. Right in the Midwest. Right in the mid. Right in the Midwest. Home, home of the home of the corn huskers. I'm cracking. <laughs> I can tell from your um your accent, like you from down south. Yeah, um, um, it's called America's Georgia. Well, you know when Jimmy Carter um Plain Georgia. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. The president, he's from Plain Georgia. That's like have like fifteen minutes away from where I'm from. Oh, okay, okay, that's what's up. Yeah, it's called America's America's Georgia. Yep. As a matter of fact, I've heard of that location. I heard that location. Yeah, that's where I'm from. I'm, I was out in Atlanta now though. Uh, okay, I was just in Atlanta last July. Me and my me and my kids and my family, um, we was down there um around like the the fifteenth of July, I think, or maybe the twenty fifth. I can't remember, but we was down there for the first time. That was our first time visiting, and I loved it. <laughs> I loved it. Yeah. My kids was like, "We can move down here." I'm like, "Man, I don't know." The only thing that that it's keeping me from moving is like the traffic. And yeah, it's, a it's, 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 really it's it's like yeah. I mean, it didn't matter what time of the day we drove. It was like <laughs> like crazy. Like how y'all do that? I don't I would never drive. <laughs> yeah. I would never but drive. It'd be a lot of people taking like the Ubers and stuff. Mm hmm A lot of people don't like to drive though. And that's what I would do. Uh, that's what There'll I would be a lot of traffic, like especially in the evening time, like when you get off work and stuff. That's when I just can't. Mm -hmm. And the thing about that it is, normally, um, normally when we go out of town, like we didn't been all over from Miami. I mean, we didn't been all over every year. We find somewhere different, and it's like ten of us, and we pick a spot and we go every year to a different location. And normally, I'm driving. I'm driving. I done done heavy traffic, Chicago, Miami. I mean, I done done heavy traffic, but that sh that Atlanta, I did not drive one <laughs> time. And we was there for a week, and every time they said who want to drive next, not me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not doing it. I didn't drive the whole week. I was like, nope, nope, not doing it. It was too much traffic, and they was driving too doggone fast. And I was like, nope, nope, I can't do it. <laughs> I cannot hey, do it. Was it was nice talking to you, You know how you get on the phone, you're tripping, so I just go wild. That, thank you for calling in. I appreciate <laughs> you calling so in. That's okay. My sons, they're around here somewhere, but they older, so they probably in their bedroom. Yeah, I have, I have a one-year-old and a three-year-old. Oh, yeah, so you got that little one. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. And I'm thirty. I'm thirty now, so I just I think I think I have late, but everybody else is like that's good timing. It is a lot of people nowadays wait. I mean, I had my first one when I was I think twenty three. Yep, twenty three, and I had my second one uh, when I was around twenty seven. 27, 28. That wasn't too bad. You know, I wasn't too young. I wasn't too old by the time I had the second one. But one thing I just tell you is cherish those memories because they'll seem like a blink of an eye and they graduate from high school. <laughs> cherish those memories and take as many pictures and videos as you can. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yep. Yep, that's what I recommend when they that when they still that little. But thank you for calling in. And yes, make sure you check out that show. I have watched it on on demand. Um, that's how I watched it. Oh yeah, that's what I'm about to do. I had to watch it. I had missed that out. Yeah, but it was a pretty good show. But you're gonna be sitting there like from the beginning to the end, like this lady must be out her dog on mine. And I, have to, I gotta watch the Housewives too. Yes, me too. I'm gonna watch them before I go to bed tonight, so I can make sure after I get home from work tomorrow. Y'all can have to watch that two or three times too, right? Like, <laughs> I can make sure I got the right, <laughs> right I, info. I do too, and some people might be like, "Tony, why you gotta watch your shows and review more than once?" I watch it, and then I watch it again, and that's when I take my notes. 
see, because when I first started doing reviews, I would watch it, and then I'd be like, dang, what was their name again? Oh my god, I can't remember. Oh my god. When you watch something more than once, it seems like you can almost remember everything that happened in the show. And some people be like, you're so detailed. It's like you just talking off the top of your head. I'm like, because I watched my shows more than once. So, you know, it helps. <laughs> it helps. I hate feeling lost when I'm doing a review. Like, what happened? Uh, <laughs> But anywho, anywho, thanks for calling in. Oh, I think she already hung up. Oh, you still there? Hello. Oh, you still there? Yeah, my little sis, my cousin. Oh. <laughs> my cousin on press swap. You know how you swap out the call. Uh -huh. I'm like, hold on, a voicemail. That's <laughs> okay. <laughs> you just do that. All right. But I'll talk to you later, Tanya. I'll make sure I watch it. I'll, every time you pop up, I don't subscribe to your name. Oh, thank you. And I get the alarm, the notifications whenever you go. Get on live, so I make sure I look at them. But I'm about to get them together for daycare until tomorrow. Okay, well, thank you. You have a wonderful evening. Take care of those babies. You as well. All right. Bye bye. Bye bye. Okay. That was Chastity calling in. But yeah, if y'all just joined in, um, we just been sitting here talking about this episode. Of Catfish with uh, the girl who was on Catfish most recently on episode 24, she had claimed that she was dating Chris Brown. Um, let me pull this up. Chris Brown <coughs> and Neve and his uh, co-host for that episode, Cami. They had to basically, you know, crack the case. From the beginning of the show, now I know a lot of us who watch the show be like, come on now, you cannot be that stupid. But there are really people that we know who have really been catfished. And that's why in the title of the show, I asked, have you ever been catfished? What's your catfish story? So if you want to call in and let us know your catfish story, if you've ever been catfished, if you're not too embarrassed, <laughs> feel free to call in and let us know your catfish story. And sometimes, um, sometimes in some situations, you know, it's easy to be catfished, especially if you're really just looking for someone if you've been just came out of a horrible relationship, like in, in this particular situation, Shekinah, she had came out of a relationship, um, but it wasn't like a short term relationship. She was actually dating someone for like, I think she said 14 years, which is a really long time, 14 years. And she has children, teenagers, and she was looking for love. And she was already a huge fan a huge fan of Chris Brown already before she started um, communicating with this person who claimed they were Chris Brown. Um, after she broke up with whoever she was with after that 14 year relationship, you know, she was lonely. She wanted to be in a relationship. She was tired of being hurt, tired of being played, which brings me to, I don't know why she couldn't see it. Why she, what, what blinders, what other blinders she had on that she couldn't see it. Like, oh God. Oh my God. The two of them had never met in real life. And then she told Neve and his co-host Cammie that not only was she dating Chris Brown, but she knew Chris Brown had like a real girlfriend, like a real girlfriend, the one that he's seen in public with and was dating her on the side. And she said she didn't mind. See, if y'all seen this episode or if y'all haven't seen it, please watch this episode. Because for a minute during this episode, I was like, this can't be real. This can't be real. Like, you think you're dating Chris Brown. You know he has a girlfriend that he's seen with publicly. That he spends, like, real time with. But you don't mind being his other woman. And then on top of that, she tells Neve, Oh, yeah, and by the way, he has another girlfriend. And her and that girlfriend 
have became friends because Chris introduced them to each other because he asked her, is it okay if I date more than one person outside of the actual girlfriend that he's seen in the public with? So not only are you thinking you dating Chris Brown, but he's also hollering at some other female on the side and he wants to wants to know if it's okay that he hollers at that other female. He wants to make sure it's okay with you. And then he introduced you all to each other. And y'all become friends, like really, really, really close friends. <laughs> I was like, Neve, are you being catfished? Are you being catfished? But anyway, anyway, the episode ended with um, basically... The lady, I showed y'all the picture of the other lady, the one who actually did the catfishing. Um, they flew down to, I think it was Michigan, where the person who claimed they were, cat, were Chris Brown, they went to Michigan. Um, everybody knows, well, a lot of people know that Chris is from Virginia. He's not from Michigan, um, is not living in Michigan. And that, that was another, like, clue like there's so many clues along the way i i can't b believe that this lady actually thought she was dating chris brown like like and when i was on the phone with chastity i asked um you guys what if you if you really thought you was on the phone with chris brown like she thought she was dating him for three years let's say three hours let's say three days this person is trying to convince you they are Chris Brown. Now, mind you, the lady met um, the person who claimed they Chris Brown on Facebook. Yeah, Facebook. There is a Chris Brown Facebook page. And Shekinah, or, or Shekinah, she had um, added him as a friend. And then you said, oh, so you, you just friend requested him on Facebook? And they said, um, and she said, yeah, he accepted me right away. That's another clue. Another clue. Like these celebrities aren't out there just accepting friend requests on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, you know, whatever social platform they use. They're not just accepting any darn body as their Facebook friend. Now, they will do that on a fan page. Because it's usually not even run by the celebrity. It's usually run by somebody in their camp. You know? So, that's normal for them to accept different people as their friends or to follow them or whatnot, you know, on their fan pages. But being that she was already so, um, you know, such a big fan of Chris Brown's, it was easy for her to believe, for some reason, that this was really his Facebook page. It had his pictures on there. Some pictures. Not a lot, but it had some pictures on there of Chris Brown. And she really believed that she was talking to Chris Brown. But, me personally, if you would have told me you was Chris Brown and you trying to holler at me and all this kind of stuff, I like you, whoop de doop de doop First of all, I'm going to need you to just bust out singing. Like, bust out. Not, not in five minutes. Not let me clear my throat. Not let me hold on. Let me go to the bathroom real quick. I'm going to need you right then and there to bust out singing. Singing. <laughs> because, I mean, anybody could, who's a celebrity who's a singer could be like, okay, hold on. Then they play like a song. And you can tell. I mean, hopefully you can tell it's a recording or it's a tape or a CD or whatnot. But I still cannot believe this lady thought she was dating Chris Brown. But anywho, anywho, so, so, Neve and Cammie, they took Shakina on a plane trip. They arrived in Michigan. Um, they went to the house to meet this so-called Chris Breezy. And then, for those of you who's just checking in, let me show you the picture again. Hold on, let me see. Okay. This is the picture of the woman. <sighs> oh, Jesus. This is so... I can't... I just... I'm like... 
I can't believe she really thought she was dating Chris Brown. But anyway, this is a picture of the lady, 31-year-old Shakina, who thought she had been dating Chris Brown, the celebrity, the singer, um, for three years. This is her. She thought she was dating Chris Brown. Never seen him in person. He never flew her out anywhere. He never um, got her tickets to a concert. Um, never sent her any gifts. Nothing. But she, she just knew without a shadow of a doubt that she was dating Chris Brown. And so she called Neve on Catfish, you know, to help her go see or get in contact in person with her boyfriend. You know how Neve and them do. <laughs> they will show up in a city and be like, um, we're here with such and such. And we want to know, is there any possible way you can meet us somewhere? <laughs> That's how Neve does that. And he usually gets the job done. He usually cracks the case wide open. And nine times out of ten, it seems like everybody is generally catfished. Everybody. But it was so many clues along the way. This this female, this lady, should have known that she was being catfished. That, that Okay. And now that that's for those of you who are just coming in, that's the picture of the uh that's the picture of the lady who was catfished, who thought she was dating Chris Brown. Now I'm going to show you a picture of the lady again who um, who actually pretended to be Chris Brown. This is her. This, my friends, is Janisha. This is Nene. <laughs> this is who pretended to be Chris Brown. And the thing is, not only did she pretend to be uh, Chris Brown, but, hold on, let me put her picture to the side. Um, Not only did she pretend to be Chris Brown, but, my bad. Trying to move these pictures around. But she has been running that Chris Brown page on Facebook. I think she said for like seven, eight years. Because when they finally caught her in the act. Let me move her picture to the side. When they finally caught her in the act. And she told, started telling them. Here's the picture. Here's her picture. And she started telling them, you know, about herself. And they said, well, how long have you been doing this? How long have you been catfishing people pretending like you're Chris Brown? And she said, well, the longest relationship I was in where she was pretending to be Chris Brown was like seven years. Seven years? You mean to tell me there's somebody out there who literally... Let me move her picture to the side a little bit. There's somebody out there who literally thought they were dating Chris Brown for seven years and never seen him in person, never got to go on tour with him, come to his home, visit his, uh, him and his kids, his family, never sent you a gift, never, did, we talking about a rich celebrity that they thought they were dating. So, anywho, when they asked her why she did it, she claimed, like a lot of these people on here who are the catfisher, claim that, you know, it was a self-esteem issue ever since she was like, I don't know, I think she said third or fourth grade. She used to get bullied all the time, picked on, teased all the time because she was a big girl, a bigger child, I should say back then because she was a little child, a bigger child than a lot of the other children. And all through her life, she had been like the one who's never like picked on a lot, never chosen a lot, never, you know, dated a lot, you know, stuff like that. So she had low self-esteem issues and that's, a lot of the times, the reason for a lot of these people who be out here catfishing. Now, after they busted her and um, she so-called apologized, which I didn't think it was sincere. You know, she apologized. 
the girl who she catfished, Shakina, she was so distraught. I mean, she was really sad. I mean, she was crying crocodile tears. It's not at all. Like, he even... <laughs> because she thought she was dating Chris Brown. Again, again. Watch the show, y'all. Watch the show, y'all. Because... I still don't see how she can possibly have thought that she was dating Chris Brown. This is not just some regular Joe Blow that she thought she was dating. <laughs> this was Chris Brown. Big time entertaining celebrity. You know? So, I don't know. I don't know. Y'all y'all watch the show. Um, let me know what y'all think. Put your comments in the... Uh, put your uh, thoughts in the comments. Um... I want to thank the caller for calling in and uh, thank everybody for tuning in tonight. And again, hold on, let me tell y'all again. It was season seven, episode 24. Um, was Shekinah actually talking to singer Chris Brown? That was the basis of that catfish show. She wasn't. <laughs> she wasn't. And I wonder how Chris Brown feels about this. Like, I wonder how some celebrities feel about this when they find out there's people out there pretending to be them and really leading people on, you know, pretending to be them. I mean, I'm sure they're probably thinking, you can't be that naive. You can't be that dumb. Come on, girl. Come on, girl. But it happens. It happens probably a lot more than what we think. <laughs> but anyway, y'all, again, thanks for tuning in tonight. Um, if you want to check that show out, look it up on demand, or you probably can find it on the internet. Um, but yeah, that, that was like one of the most interesting catfish shows that I have come across. <laughs> And I normally don't do reviews on catfish like I was telling the caller. I'm like, but I had to talk about this. I had to talk about this because it, I was just like, I, I was at a loss for words. Like all through the show, I'm up there in the middle of the night, like trying so hard to stay woke when I should be in bed watching this mess. I'm like, okay. But anyway, this is why I was late for church this morning. <laughs> Staying up late watching. I think I watched like two or three episodes of Catfish. <laughs> but anyway, y'all, thank y'all for tuning in again. Um, in the meantime and in between time, as usual, Prime Time Squad, make sure you click that like button. Make sure you share my video on your social media platforms. Subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. And stay safe, be blessed, and I'm out. Deuces.